this question is about gravitational field strength and proportionality and ratios. So I've said this before in videos because these questions come up a lot and the more you practice them, the easier they will become. So the, we're asked about gravitational field strength. So gravitational field strength is given as G is G M over R squared. So gravitational field strength is proportional to mass and it's inversely proportional to one over R squared. So we're asked for the point between these two where um, this Y value has a proportion of the total distance D. So Y is given as the distance from the center of mass M to um, the point where the gravitation, the overall gravitational field strength it ends up being zero. So we've got that. So um, Y over D is going to be um, less than one. It's going to be less than a half because it's got to be closer to M than 4M because 4M has a bigger mass. So if you're running out of time and you're panicking, then at least you can rule out a couple of answers because it's got to be less than half. Um, looking at this, then that rules us down to A or B. But let's actually check to see which one's which. So um, the mass here is four times the mass here. So if it was just to do with mass, then um, that's fairly straightforward. But we're looking at these separations. So how can we balance four times the mass using a separation? Well, if it's um, twice the distance, then twice the distance squared will give us the same effect as having four times the mass. So the distance y, uh, if I call this x, the distance y must be twice what x is. Sorry, so that we're around. The distance y must be half of what x is to compensate for this um, multiple of mass being four times this. So it being half the distance, one over r squared, and um, that will give me four times the attraction if it's half the distance. So I know that um, two lots of y equals x. So two lots of y equals x. So that then means I'm splitting this into uh, three. I'm splitting the whole thing into three. So if two lots of y equals x, then the whole distance d is three lots of y. So then I can see that this is a third and this must be two thirds. These sorts of questions are coming up a lot and you do need to just practice them and you start seeing quick ways to answer them.